So, after the four most fundamental rights linked to the body and physical freedoms, in the old world convention there go rights to a fair system of justice. That is, the right to a fair trial. The right not to be judged for what is not a crime. And the presumption of innocence. The latter means that only a court's decision can state you are a criminal. You don't have to prove that you're no four-legged animal. And when do people turn to court? If you get treads on my foot, can I take her to court for that? Hehehe, <laughs> not exactly. People turn to the courts when there's a serious conflict. For example, you need a court when someone breaks the law. And the person dealing with the case isn't the same one offended. Not the main ruler in person. Nor a crowd of angry neighbors. But an independent organ. A fair court. But the fair court, is that the one that made the decision in my favor? Or the one which always finds the real guilty party? Aha. Uh -huh. I was expecting the question. How do we measure justice? There are many criteria. Listen. A court, to be considered fair, should be, first, independent of the government. Second, established by law. Third, accessible. That is, not hidden in a faraway constellation and not too costly. Fourth, open to independent observers. Fifth, impartial not connected with sympathies to a party. Sixth, the accused must have a defense lawyer who knows the laws and has the right to defend them in court. Seventh, and finally, the person must be able to appeal the court's decision. Wow, it's been taken seriously. Yes, very seriously. That's because a fair and independent court it's the main guarantor for observing humans' rights. Yet another important group are the rights defending us from interference in our personal life or family affairs. For example, no one may read your letters without your permission or trawl your personal computer, listen to your phone calls, peer into your window, and so on. Moreover, a person has a right to know what information about him is being collected by all the happiness committees and why. And if the police suspect a person is a criminal and it's necessary for the investigation to search his flat, also not possible? In that case, police must receive a special permission from the court. And if they break into the suspect's home without permission, then a court will not look at any evidence obtained illegally. So it means that the court defends our rights? It's better to say everyone has the right to defend their rights in court. And the court will decide on the matter. But in general, yes, it's like that. So how does an ordinary court differ from the old world tribunal? Listen, humans turn to an ordinary court when the law is broken. But you can go to the old world tribunal if your human's rights have been violated. And the nearest court hasn't defended them. Is that clear?